Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take you through the process of how I sold my first photography NFT on Foundation. <music> So this video is not really about how I attracted collectors to buy my NFTs. It's more about just the nuts and bolts of how to go about selling uh, your photography on foundation, what's involved, the steps involved, and I'll take you through from the start to finish, from the minting all the way through to the sale. And there's some quite interesting steps and particularly one uh, step that you need to watch out for. So the first step is minting. Now minting simply means uploading your item onto the blockchain and the foundation uses the Ethereum blockchain. So when you upload your item, when you mint it, you'll need to pay a charge. Now the charge is paid via Ethereum and you need to connect your MetaMask wallet to do that. I use the MetaMask um, Google Chrome extension to do that and you can upload uh, Ethereum uh, cryptocurrency into Met your MetaMask wallet in many different ways. You can buy it directly through um, a credit card. You can transfer from your cryptocurrency exchange wallet into your MetaMask wallet. There's a few different ways to do that, but it's pretty straightforward. Just one thing is don't uh, confuse the address. Don't confuse your wallet address with uh, the foundation address. That's something I have done in the past. Now you need to be aware that every action you perform on the blockchain takes money. Now they call that money gas, that is the transaction fee involved in using the blockchain. Now it is expensive or relatively expensive, uh, so you need to make sure that you're charging enough money for your photography. Now the system that I use to target the lowest gas fees is I downloaded an app, I paid for an app, it was about $4.50 US, and this app allows me to um, get alerts. Now the alert I've set for the lowest um, gas fee of that week um, in a 24-hour period. So when the gas fee um, triggers below that uh, threshold, I get an audible alert on my phone. Then I'll go to uh, Foundation and go ahead and do the things I need to do, whether that be minting, uh, listing, uh, settling, or anything like that, okay? So the next step is listing, and listing is simply the action of attaching a price to your artwork. I believe that Foundation should have included this in the gas fees of the minting charge, but anyway, that's the price you have to pay. Now the third process is settling. Now that is the action of paying a gas fee to transfer the, the rights or the ownership of the image or the artwork to the buyer or the, the collector. Now, I thought that um, the seller or the artist had to pay the gas fee because I was prompted by foundation with a big black button to, to settle the auction. I did that the first time I sold. Then I was approached by this fantastic gentleman from India on uh, Twitter and he reached out to me with a DM and said, look, what are you doing paying the, uh, the settling fee? That's usually up to the, the collector to do that. So I want to give a big shout out to that uh, gentleman in India for, for helping me with that. So for my second auction, um, I let the, uh, the, the collector pay the settlement fee and I would advise you guys to do the same. The fourth and final charge involved in selling your artwork on the Foundation website is the Foundation charge itself. Now at the time of making this video, Foundation charges 15%, so you need to account for that when coming up with the list price for your artwork. So the total amount of cost involved in selling one NFT I found was uh, $35 US for the minting, $35 US for the listing, uh, $35 US to settle, and then 15% uh, commission charge to foundation. So it's not cheap and I have decided pretty much to sell most of my artwork starting at $1,000 US, which right now is uh, 0.25 of Ethereum. So I hope this video has helped explain how to sell your artwork as an NFT, a non-fungible token. Um, one final tip that I will give you guys is I believe that my artwork sold because it was um, searchable. It came up in a search term. So I was lucky enough to secure the first um, collection title, which is Street. So I, I registered the, the, the collection name Street, uh, which is you know obviously street photography. So when buyers uh, or when collectors are searching for street photography, my 
create collection is the first one that comes up. So just consider that. Consider um, you know the search terms and the search tags that you attach to your collections and and actually your artwork itself. Okay, thanks very much, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.